Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Buff Pro, and today we're gonna continue with uh, the second half of the Q and A because I already had most of it recorded. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Also, I wanted to update you and let you know I'm about to be taking a little road trip, and uh, I got me this little GoPro, and I'm gonna document the trip on with this thing. So. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of keep you guys up to date. Uh, if I see anything crazy or we'll just vlog or whatever while we do it. That way we uh, also have some content and some stuff to talk about when I get back. Um, in addition to some of the other things that um, I got going on. Uh, I want you guys to know, be on the lookout. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, I got a little, a, little, uh, a little meme show maybe coming your way. Might do a little reactions. Uh, I, I promise you guys those stuff was coming. And uh, yeah, it, we already got some stuff recorded, but I am gonna take this road trip starting on Thursday the 15th. So you guys probably won't see me. I probably won't be back in order to do another video until next week. Anyway, we're gonna keep things coming, keep things coming uh, and, and rocking. But uh, I just wanted to update you guys and let you know. Well, here's the rest of the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, man, like and subscribe please you know what i'm saying look i know we're working to get ken to 10 mil my first goal baby can we hit 100k right like right now we just knocked out 10k like this like this yo can we hit 100k can we hit 100,000 100 let's get it i would love to hear if you had any forms of employment aside from youtube What's the craziest on the job scenario you've been a part of or have witnessed? Ooh. Okay. All right. I have worked all types of jobs. All right. I mean, I'm talking, I've worked as a grocery store employee, as a stalker, all the way to management doing stuff, uh, GameStop, Sam's retail. Um, I've been a repo man. I've repoed cars. Um, phew. that's the craziest thing I've ever seen, right? The craziest on the job scenario I've seen was probably having to go repo this car, right? The dealership would cut us a key. We'd have the VIN numbers and all the things that we need to make sure we got the right car, right? Well, we found the car. It was at this trailer in the country, in the country, all right? They had a bonfire going in the back. In the backyard is like, I don't know, 15, 20 people out there partying. We found the car in the front yard and it's a field and it's down this long driveway. It's wide open, man. It's open, right? It's like long driveway, nothing but open field. So we had to, my cousin was the one who got this one. So we let him out at the end of the driveway which was half of that it's probably quarter mile probably quarter mile driveway seemed like forever right and he literally starts crawling through the bushes he crawls through the tall grass and he's literally crawling through the tall grass all the way up to the car gets on the radio yo this is the right one he reads the VIN number out i was like that's the one that's the one he puts the key in cranks it dips out like Dude, you know, of course we call the cops right there. Like, hey, we just repossessed this car, blah, blah, blah. But like, man, these, like, you should see all the people in the backyard when they see this car driving off. They're like, what? Blah, 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 blah. Like, it's, it got nuts. And we just dip set straight out of there. And that's the craziest on the job scenario I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Legally stealing cars. Also, to answer the first part of the question, do I have any other forms? Well, I stream on Twitch and I do YouTube. That is my job currently. So yeah, I would love for all of it to pick up more and build and uh, you know, so we're, we're working on that. We're going from there. Where were you born? Also, where did you grow up? What places have you lived? And which place shaped you 
and your core values the most? Good question. I was born in uh, Mississippi. I was born in the same town as Elvis Presley, Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh, where did I grow up? I grew up in a town called Baldwin. It's small town, man, small town, real small. Uh, what places have I lived? Uh, really, it's all been in my state. It's all been in state, you know. I've visited, I've traveled and visited quite a few places, but like as far as lived, yeah, it's all been around where I've grew up for the most part. So, um, which may be changing this year. <laughs> I may be uprooting and moving later this year. So there's that. Uh, which place shaped you? Oh man, I grew up in Baldwin. Baldwin shaped me. And that's where my, I, I became me. Yeah, I grew up and I've always, I always thought, you know, they, people are who they are. You like the person for the person, you know, regardless of their race, their color, any of that, right? You judge people by by them, by their by who they are. And uh, I grew up in a small town and I, I dated outside my race, and which was easy for me being the only Mexican, right? But anyway, uh, <laughs> dated outside my race and um, yeah, like it wasn't the most popular thing you could do at the time. I guess that's where a lot of my anger came in, you know, because I was like, who the hell are you guys judging me for? You know, anyway, Lance, how did you become friends with Ken? How was life going? Life is going great for one. I'm doing insanely better mentally, health wise, all of it, right? I'm just in a great place. Um, how did I become friends with Ken? Playing Magic the Gathering. We're nerds, nerds. We were slanging some cards at the card shop, man. And uh, it was outside. It was after high school. Yeah, it was after high school. And um, we were there and we were talking about, I knew we played magic with Kenny, right? With Ken, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we played Halo. I played Halo. I traveled the country, you know, starting at 16 years old going everywhere to compete, right? And uh, so we talked about playing Halo at the Magic event, the Magic tournament at the card shop. Kenny wanted to play. So we invited, man, I, I used to invite everybody to my house to play because I knew I was good. And I was looking for people who were also good and or had potential. So yeah, that's how I met Ken and been friends ever since, man. And. Uh, Ah, here we go. Favorite childhood video game. When I was a kid, I played NBA Jam like a monster, bro. I used to love NBA Jam, right? Now, my favorite video game, right? Probably Halo Combat Evolved, but that came later, right? I was a little older. Um, but uh, before that, I'd say Metal Gear Solid. It's Metal Gear Solid was amazing. You know what I'm saying? Who else can smoke a cigarette underwater like Solid Snake? Nobody except Buff Pro. How long have you known Ken? The story behind it, etc. Do you hang out with him? What is one of the funniest stories you have? Oh my God. So one of the ones that stands out to me the most, right? Is uh, we were, oh man. <laughs> one weekend, we had a couple drinks and uh, <laughs> it was pouring down rain and we were walking around outside and there was quite a few people at my house. We had parties and I had quite a few people there. And, but me and Kenny were walking around acting like it was an RPG, acting like we were in an RPG and we were the main characters, right? We would walk up and like, there'd be like a beer, right? And we'd be like, <laughs> press A to grab the beer. And so we'd grab the beer, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> do you drink the beer and we'd put we'd have like you know our options here and we would drink oh my gosh dude like we literally walked around for like two hours acting like we were in this rpg and it was uh it was it was probably one of the funniest things i had ever seen so <laughs> yeah ask him about it if you guys ever get a chance to ask him about it ask him about it are you single that one's easy 
Nope, I'm not. <laughs> uh, what kind of things do you do for self-care? I've started with a lot of different things, like taking care of my hair better, trying to make my appearance something that I'm comfortable with, you know, like taking time for me, you know, like used to, I wouldn't even, I would just wake up and be like, hey, y'all, it is what it is. But like, you know, just I, I, anything that matters to you, just do it. Take the time. You deserve it, right? So I'm also trying to eat right. I'm, I'm also working on my weight because I want to be, I want to be healthier. I want to live longer. If you have one, what is your beard care regimen? Your beard is gorgeous and I'm trying to help my hubby with this. Well, now that you ask, uh, I actually have, <clears throat> I have a beard wash and I have a beard detangler, right? So I put that in and it helps to straighten out, you know, a lot of your, your tangles and your curls. I guess a beard shaper. So as you put in your beard, it's kind of like a, it's, not, it's a little thicker than a normal beard oil, I think but it does well for mine um, and I enjoy it. So yeah, there's, that's what I do. That's what I do. Do you like Tupac and Biggie's music? I'm in Australia. I heard DMX in the hospital. He pulling through, love your style. That was four days. That was four days ago since, you know, I recorded this on the 11th. Yes, I do like Biggie and Tupac. Uh, I think they both have different styles, right? You know, I mean, the East Coast and the West Coast are, are different style music and I like them both. I think they're both iconic and they're both huge to the history of rap. DMX was my favorite rapper of all time. I related to him the most. Um, he was so in your face. He was so in your face, didn't care. I was DMX is, that's just my guy. That's just my guy. I was, I, I, I love DMX. Anybody that really knows me knows how much of a DMX fan I, I am. So if you weren't a streamer or a YouTuber, what would you be doing instead? Malayanu. That is one of the hardest questions. I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't know. I, I do not know. I've done a lot of things. I've done, I've worked a lot of different jobs. None of which I just had a passion for. I mean, I would get by somehow, you know, cause you know, warrior, we're going to get by, but I don't know, man. Like, this is what I love, right? This is what I love to do. Like, I love this and all of y'all are the reason I can do this, by the way, man. Oh, y'all show so much love and support. Like it literally, I couldn't, I couldn't be here doing this without you. So thank you. So perfect, perfect scenario, perfect job in another life, right? If I got to choose, maybe after YouTube and Twitch, maybe after, maybe after being, maybe after Buff Pro's done, what would I, what will I do? I would love to own a boxing gym and I would love to train kids, right? I would love uh, for kids to have an outlet to see, you know, what they're really made of, to look deep inside and dig and work hard at something and know that you know, all they got to do is believe in themselves. Um, so I think in a perfect world, if I wasn't doing this, I would love to be doing something with that. That's just me, right? Um, favorite game genre. That's a good question. Favorite game genre. So I play a lot of horror games right now, right? I love them. Actually, I hate them. They're scared of the shit out of me. But uh, I've also always been big in fighting games. I like fighting games. Um, I like shooters. I like RPGs. Uh, it's hard. I know what I stream the most, but my actual favorite genre is probably still RPGs. How many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. I have one brother and one sister. I am the oldest. How tall are you? Worst game you've ever played. So. I'm 5'8", right? But best believe, any room I walk into, I'm the tallest man in the room. Got that presence of a 8'7", homie. You know what I'm saying? 8'7", that's how I feel. Worst game I've ever played.
Yep, I'm just gonna pick one. Getting over it. Getting over it might be the worst game I've ever played. Man, it's rage inducing. Whoo, man. I don't know. It's bad. Like, I've never wanted to go out and just start punching random strangers, but that game made me want to do all of that. It actually made me want to punch the strangers and then beg them to punch me. That's how bad the game was. I wanted random strangers to punch me in the face because it felt better than playing that game. If you could eat one food every day, what would it be? Oh, well, Irene, if I could eat lasagna every single day of my life, I would. Either that or chimichangas. Deep fried burritos, little queso cheese on top. You know what I'm saying? Inside that thing is, uh, I don't know, chicken steak, depending on the day. Onions, peppers, sauteed. Do you live in your mom's basement? All right, first off, guy, I wish I did. I wish my mom had a basement that I could live in. Instead, I had to get out and get my own apartment. I know, I know, it's hard to believe. I don't enjoy it either. <sighs> Come on, mom, you really let me down here. Marco asked, can you hold your breath for at least one minute underwater? Marco, probably not. I'd get about 30 seconds in and I need a smoke break. Oh, my, what is my favorite console of all time? Mmm, <sighs> it's a tough one. I really, really enjoyed my PlayStation. But I also really enjoyed my Super Nintendo. My Super Nintendo was my jam. The original Xbox was also, gosh, it was up there. It's probably my favorite of all time, the original Xbox. I'll throw that out, all right? But old school, give me the Super Nintendo. Let's go. Give me the Super Nintendo. <laughs> anyway. Guys, I appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate the 10K. You know, we reached 10K so quickly and we're still growing that we're actually closer to 13K now by the time I've recorded this video, right? Just a couple days ago when I when I talked about the asking, you know, give me some questions. Uh, so yeah, man, we're growing. We're growing and I love it and I appreciate all of you. And, uh, yo, be along for the ride, baby, because we going. Also, be on the lookout. We got new content coming. All right? I told y'all, new stuff's on the way. Y'all about to start seeing Buff Pro do his thing. Just be ready. Peace.